Aloha everybody, this is Gigi from Kauai Community College. In this video, we will be talking about even and odd functions. All right, so just remember, what's a function? Every input only has one output. What does it mean to be odd? And what does it mean to be even? I'm not talking about numbers. I'm not, I'm talking about the function, the relationship between input and output. So, Definition. A function is even if f of negative x is equal to f of x. What does that mean? Well, here we go. f of x. Suppose you have the x value right here. And this is a point on the graph. So then this we call the y value f of x. Okay. Now if you move across the y-axis to negative x. And a point on the graph is negative x, ne f of negative x, and they are the same. Meaning, f of negative x is the same as f of x. In other words, this point right there is xy, and this point right here is negative x comma y. We will see here that that's the same as a definition of symmetry with respect to the y-axis. All right, now odd function. Well, we already knew that a function isn't going to have symmetry with respect to the y, I mean the x-axis. So what's the other choice? The origin. Okay, how does it look like? If x is here, and the point on the graph is f of x, right there, okay, that value. If you move across and go to negative x, the point on the graph here has the output of the same distance as f of x, but below the y, um, the x-axis. So you can see that f of negative x is the opposite value of f of x so that it has symmetry with respect to the origin. Now if we want to really label these in terms of x, y, we would say this is x comma y and this point right here is negative x, negative y as we have seen in symmetry with respect to the origin. So even function has symmetry with respect to the y-axis, and odd function has symmetry with respect to the origin. Now, given an equation, how can you tell if a function is odd, even, or neither? Well, we got to go look for f of negative x, meaning what happened when you go to the other side of zero? Will, it be, will the output be the same or the opposite or neither. So we want to go and see what is f of negative x. Okay, so wherever x is, you'll put in negative x. We simplify that to be negative x over negative x to the third minus 2x because negative number to the third power is going to give us a negative number. A positive times a negative is going to give us a negative. So, if we think about factoring out the negative in the bottom, then we can say negative divided by negative, negative one divided by negative one, is 1. Or we can say negative divided by negative is a positive. So f of negative x really is just exactly the same as f of x. Therefore, this is an even function. Here's another example. f of x is equal to 5x to the third minus 2x. Again, we are going to look at f of negative x, meaning what happened 
on the other side of zero as far as your input go. So you put negative x into wherever x is to the third power, negative to the third power is going to stay negative. Negative times a negative is a positive. So f of negative x is equal to negative 5x squared plus 2x. Now, if we factor out a negative to, to the front, we would have what looks like the original function right there. And that is f of x with the negative in the front. So f of negative x is the opposite of f of x. Therefore, it is an odd function. Okay, here's another example. f of x is 2x to the fifth minus 3x squared plus 1. Again, we are looking at f of negative x, the opposite of x, the opposite of your input. Will your output be the same or the opposite? So negative to the fifth power is going to stay negative. Negative x to the second power is going to be positive. So f of negative x is going to be negative 2x to the fifth minus 3x squared plus 1. Comparing to the original function f of x, that is definitely not the same. Now, if we factor out the negative, will we get the original function inside the parentheses? Meaning, is it going to be the opposite? Well, this here is not the same as f of x. So it is not the opposite of f of x. Not the same, so it's not even. Not the opposite, so it's not odd. This function is neither odd nor even. And that is how we do that algebraically. Now, why is it useful? Well, suppose you know that this is a function, um, a part of the function, and you know that the domain of this function is actually from negative 4 to 4. So there should be something on the left-hand side. And suppose that you know that this function is odd. Well, what does odd mean? f of negative x is going to be the opposite of f of x. So when you have the opposite input, the output is going to be opposite when it's odd. So for x equal to 1, f of x is negative 1. So for that's the point right there, right? 1, 1. 1, negative 1, actually. Now, if you move over to negative x is equal to negative 1, then the opposite output would be up here. And that would be negative 1, 1. Right? And for these points here, the opposite of 0 is going to stay 0. So you have 0 here and 0 there. And then for when x is 3, instead of 3, 5, you will have negative 3, negative 5. To make it an odd function. So when you follow all the points, the other half of the graph should look like that. So studying even or odd actually tells us um, how the graph looked like on the other side. So there's less work. Do one and then just kind of figure it out what the other side looked like. And that is it for even and odd function.